Now from 21 Alive Plus. This is your FastCast. Good morning. We want to get a quick check of your weather forecast bright and early here on our Tuesday morning. Brian, it's a little gloomy out there. I'm sure a lot of people are struggling to get on out of bed. I know I was, but hopefully maybe we're going to get some parts of the day where we're seeing it a little bit more clear. Kind of walk us through what we need to know. Yeah. Here's kind of a look at what you uh, need to know right here. Now, your 21 Alive first alert forecast. Well, here's a look at future cast as we go throughout the day. As Jess noted, it is a very gloomy day out there, and we are tracking some chances for some of those rain showers. Let's time them all out here. Notice 9, 10 o'clock, still seeing some widespread rain across the region. And even as we enter into the uh, later portion of the morning, still hanging on to that rain chance and mostly cloudy conditions once again are expected for this afternoon. Maybe could see a few breaks in that cloud cover. And then as we go into uh, this evening, still hanging on to partly cloudy skies, maybe a slight chance for isolated rain shower. And then eventually as we work into tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy skies, maybe the chance for a sprinkle at max, but still looking on the drier side. Here's a look at that day planner for the day. Temperatures will only max out in the lower 70s. Chances for some scattered showers and some thunderstorms too. Here's a look at rain chances for the next 21 hours. Between around 10 to six o'clock, that's when we're looking at that best potential for a couple of those showers and isolated thunderstorms and then looking to uh, wind down overnight. So that is quite good news. It's not going to be a total washout today. Plenty of dry times, but once again, we are still seeing some chances for some isolated showers and some storms. And here's a look at that first alert extended forecast. 75 degrees for Wednesday, mostly cloudy. And then nearing 80 on Thursday. And then as we transition into the weekend, still saying uh, fairly seasonable into the mid to upper 70s. And we do have the potential for some scattered showers and a few of those storms on Monday as we could potentially be dealing with some tropical remnants um, that could impact our region. Okay, Brian, definitely a good day to maybe stay inside. Thanks Absolutely. so much. Okay, we want to talk about the potential casino that's being built in New Haven that's causing a lot of discussion there. Last night, we told you leaders held a, pu a public hearing to share their plans. And during the hearing, some residents expressed their concerns, saying a casino could change the town for the worst. The casino is part of Full House Resorts, who are working to relocate their uh, Rising Star Casino, which is in Ohio County right now. And it would be built off of I-469 on Harper and South Doyle Roads. Now, the possibility of a casino in New Haven has the small town in debate with some people waiting in anticipation, while other people are on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, full of dread. I'm concerned about the impact a casino would have on families. I'm just, uh, the love of money can really be a tempting thing for families, and I just look at gambling as another addictive pastime actually think it's a good idea. I do. I think the people that have the concerns, they're valid for those people. Um, but I think people that they're concerned about with addictions and mental health and things of that nature, um, they need to look at said person. Okay, so no decisions were made last night and leaders at Full House Resorts emphasize that if the project does move forward, it will be completely privately funded. Okay, moving on now here this morning, we have some new data to talk to you guys about. Violent crime numbers fell across the country last year. Oh, it looks like my video is not working here. That's, you know, a classic Tuesday morning. Um, but violent crime numbers fell across the country last year. Obviously, right now you can see the Indiana data on your screen. Um, but that data includes violent crimes like murder. So according to the summary of crime in the nation, violent crime dropped about 3% from 2022 to last year with murder and manslaughter falling more than 11%. That's the largest single year decline in two decades. The FBI says public perception of that, uh, that crime is on the rise though is out of step with the facts, especially in the age of social media and digital communication. So we wanna focus here on Indiana, as you can see there on your screen. In the same 2022 to 2023 timeframe, there was a 3.4% increase in violent crime across the state. But something we want you to keep in mind with something like this, a single year does not establish a pattern. So for example, looking at violent crime in Indiana over the past five years, it has actually decreased by 5.5% since 2019. So there's some good news there. 
Um, that's pretty much all we have here for you guys on your 21 Alive Plus Fast Cast to kick off your Tuesday morning. It doesn't look like we have our Skyview cam loaded up here this morning, so Aww. I guess we're just going to have to say ta-ta for now. We hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Make sure you have your umbrella on hand, maybe even the rain boots um, if you're heading out because you might run into some rain showers. But that's all from us. We hope you guys have a great day.